on today's episode of what is new at work. We got the truck stuck. So everything's been thawing and cooling, so there's ruts. We're pulling the trailer out and got the pickup stuck in the ruts, so fun. I forgot to film it, but we got it out. Welcome back to Ag with Emma. Today we're taking part birds for uh, hand lines, wheel lines. I can't remember which ones they came off of. Maybe hand lines, probably wheel lines. But it just is part of irrigation. So I'll put this in the irrigation folder. And then if you're still curious about where they go on irrigation equipment, I will have more videos. And I actually have a video on it up already. So go check out my irrigation playlist if you want to know more about irrigation there will be plenty more coming later down the road because that is what we're doing before i take off for harvest this is what they look like oh they're heavy okay not heavy they're just all tied together so um a lot of those pieces come apart and then we separate them in scrap buckets because i think they're different kinds of metal so we're just gonna grab a couple of these bring them back to the shop take them all apart um and of course I'll show you guys how to do that. So I'm excited. This has major one trip gal vibes. Also gonna be honest, uh, Brayden showed me how to do this once and I have kind of forgotten, but I know that we use the vice grips, some pliers. I know which pieces need to come out. I just forgot how to get them there. So we're gonna figure it the out. The other problem is that I just started and I haven't memorized where all the tools are yet, but I think I got what I need. So we've got a crescent wrench, that's this one. Forgot what these are called, my brain farts all the time. Uh, vice grip plier things. And then that's the vice, I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong on those names, I probably am. Aren't these just wire cutters? Wire cutter plier thingies. Don't make fun of me for not knowing that off the top of my head, even though it's common sense. So here is a better view of what these guys look like. I'm gonna take this pin out first and then you have to unscrew this and there's a spring in there, a spring right there. And then there's a nozzle to take out. And then I think there might be another piece, but basically it'll look cooler when it's all taken apart. It'll make more sense what comes off. And then we put it in buckets according to what piece it was. And I'll show you guys that. You're too. also gonna want a pry bar to get the pin out so I'll show you how that works see that was just easy every time I record it's either easy or I screw it up really bad so that is coming right off of the pin there you go so here's your little pin and now that this is out so we're gonna put that in a different pile this is loose, so the pin was holding that stuff on, and now that's all loose. So we're gonna cut the springs, or you can twist them, turn them, whatever you wanna do. Just make sure the spring gets out of the holes that it's connected to in there. See? And that's where you can twist it out. Um, and I'll bring you along for the rest of it. Okay, so the springs, don't laugh at me. I should probably just bend them out, but there we go. I always think it's going to be harder for me than it is. Maybe I just got stronger since the last time I did this. See, that's all cut out. And now that whole piece has come out. So this is a piece of trash. Um, this is a different pile. And then these go in a separate pile. And then I'm going to take off this part from the rest of this. Because there's another spring in there that we need to get out. So I kind of forgot how to do this part. I think I'm just going to put it in the vise and unscrew it. Hopefully that works. Next step two, righty tidy, lefty loosey. Come on, sweet cheeks. All right. And that comes out just like that. Twist it a little bit. And that might be finger loosened. There we go. So there's the little nozzle. It just screws out. Now we can take this little spring part out. Okay, so I was doing it right the first time. I got the bottom piece in because the bottom is what turned out. So I'm just gonna tighten this and then twist that, heck yeah, out.
this piece came off. And then there's these two trash gaskets because they're plastic. And then you got the spring, so that's going to go to your other spring pile. Um, and then this goes with the these things. I don't know what you call those. If anybody knows, let me know. Does that even come off? Okay, so now this is out. See that? I'm pretty sure because that is solid on there. And since these are junk, it's easier to just, I don't know, I've already got that bottom piece and I haven't taken this part off, so I'm just twisting it off and it gives you more something to hold on to i guess you can see it coming off right there so still got to take the pin out spring out nozzle out we'll do that in a minute got spring trash and then loosen this lefty loosey righty tighty that's tightening it smooth move emma Look, that's all smushed up because the vise puts a lot of pressure on it. So that's what makes it all handy. So that goes in that pile. And then you're going to put the pin in. Tighten this. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. Oh, yeah. Look who's a professional now. <laughs> okay, I lied. So this piece does come off. See, there's a little piece of trash in there. We want that out. So I just had this one pop off. Anyways, you get the idea. That little piece comes out of there, so now I have to go back and take all these out. Um, I'm pretty sure you just do that with the wrench. So to get this out, I'm just gonna put this back in the vise. It might just pop out, but I am not sure. So we're gonna try this anyway. Remember lefty loosey. Oh, there we go. That at least loosened it. I don't know if that was necessary, but it got it out. This thing is pert near well squished up. I don't know where I started saying pert near from, but just get all the trash gaskets off. Like so. And those go in the trash pile with the rest of it. And these are like lighter, so I think. No, I think they're still the same kind of metal. They might be, no. I don't know, I'll ask and find out. And then I will report back, but we figured There's it also out. also a little clear gasket, this one, or gasket, O-ring, I don't know, um, that sits right in there. So just make sure that, that gets taken out because you don't want any plastic trash on it. See, that is one with it on. That's one without so it. So here is the bucket that the pins, springs, and those little shafts go in. It looks like shafts, pins, whatever you want to call those. These pieces. So we're going to dump those in there so we don't make as much of a mess. Get all the springs in there. Make sure there's no trash gaskets. And then these pins. And there's a trash pile. We'll go grab a trash bucket. Another pin. Um, just try to keep things cleaned up. I'm kind of bad about that sometimes. So all these little pieces can just get thrown in there. We're going to whip our hair up. And see how fast we can take apart a bird. Because I think I got it down to where I can do it in like two minutes. So, we shall see. Okay, 21 seconds. That's what the cameras are right now. Of course, this is going to be the hardest one I take apart. Because I'm trying to see how good I am at it. And I'm pretty sure that these little pieces are aluminum. Wrench. All right, we're at 20 seconds. Take out this little. All right, that piece. Ah, the trash is not coming out. Hurry, hurry, hurry. 
I think the longest part of this whole thing is going to be the little spring thing. Because I have a hard time cutting those for whatever reason. Oh, okay, we're at a minute. Oh, that was fast. Did you see that? Okay, we're going to chop this spring. Sorry, this is a bad angle. Just keep with me. We're at a little over a minute. Ah! Okay, got that out. All we have left is the nozzle. We're at a minute 20. I think it's going to be. We've got 20 more seconds before it's two minutes. Ah! Okay. Done at 2.12. That took me like 10 minutes the first time I did it. I think longer because I didn't have the good vice over there. So, <sighs> getting speedy fast at this. Also, I'm highly debating calling this video bird surgery because that's what I'm doing. Except we're not putting it back together. So I don't know what that would be called. But bird surgery? I don't know. Bird surge? But I can't call it bird surge because that just sounds weird. Okay, so this has a different bottom. Um, the other ones that I was just taking apart on the bottom, that one's the same. Oh, these are all the same. Crap, I'm trying to find one that... So the other ones that I was putting in the vise all looked like that on the bottom. These ones have this in the bottom. So I'm going to put this part in the vise and then twist this out with a little pry bar and a wrench. Not a pry bar. It's just like a solid bar that you put in the crack and then twist it. Sounds easy enough, right? And that bar, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yeah. Okay, got it figured out for these ones. We're gonna use vice grips. And when you use these, you wanna clamp it, tighten it. So they're gonna squish on them like that. I guess we gotta tighten them more. So they're not like clamped. Like that. And then it's just easy money. And then they unclamp like this. So now I gotta find all those little pieces of trash that I dropped. And these ones are brass, not aluminum. So um, there's a difference in when you're scrapping them. That's why we have to take them apart. Okay, I can't remember if I caught you guys up to speed on the bottoms that look like this. We were using the vice grip, and I was also doing something dumb trying to get it out with the wrench and this thing was just spinning. You don't do that with these ones. So we're gonna grab these instead, tighten it around the top part that's supposed to come off. And then just kind of hit it like that. And then all of this lovely stuff comes off. So there's a little ring and another one. This isn't as metal, so I'm going to drop it on the table. See, you hear that? That one's plastic. It doesn't make any noise. Um, there's a spring. Goes in the bucket. That just slides right off. And then this one is brass, unlike the other ones out of this bucket. Which are aluminum, so you can see that. Oh, and then there's some more trash on this. Okay, so that is taking apart. So that is the shindig on taking apart birds for the irrigation. I don't know if you want to call them nozzles or birds or... We call them birds because they make... They got little wings. I don't know if that's why they call them birds, but... So there's what one originally looks like. That's what one looks like before you take that out. Um... Here's your different piles, so that's the trash. Nozzles go over there. Oh, I still gotta take that nozzle out, but that goes over there. 
I'm pretty sure that goes with those, your springs and your pins. Now we're gonna take this one apart, take the nozzle out of this one, take that one off because I finally figured out, well, Brayden came in and told me how to do it again. Um, so that is how you take apart a bird. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to check me out on all other social media platforms at Ag with Emma. New podcast up every Tuesday. Check that out as well. Thanks for watching. Drop any questions you have in the comments. Catch you on the next video. Hasta la pasta.